So sometimes I get bored of submitting hundreds of patches every merge window, and I start to think about what life is going to be like once we get to the point of having all the file systems converted <laughs> to using folios instead of pages. And uh, I like to write these things down because I'll forget. You know, I come up with good ideas and I forget them. Um, and I don't see any reason to keep these development notes to myself. So I put them up on the Kernel Newbies wiki. And sometimes I'll send out emails to the MM mailing list saying, hey, this is, you know, I've, I've, I've changed this or I've, I've put this up. And I don't seem to get a lot of response to that. So I thought I'd, I'd waste your time now by talking to you. Top tip, reply to my emails, and I won't have to talk about it. Um, so this slide should not be a surprise to anyone who, uh, slide, <laughs> this wiki page. The last time. Has it? It changed from the last time. <laughs> Actually, it, it did. I, I, I made two changes to this, because I went and looked at it and said, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I had that idea, and I had that idea. The great thing about doing things several times is you can distill the best bits from each time you do it. Um, yeah, so I, I used to say this was going to be an unsigned long, and now I say it's going to be a U64, and we'll get to that in a little bit, in a little minute. Um, so, the, I mean, to a certain extent, I'm recapping what, what I said in the, uh, the, the opening plenary, um, but I'm, I'm going to go into a lot more detail because I'm talking to a merry management crowd rather than a, a smelly file system people. Um, so, I'm going to use four bits off the bottom to give us different, to tell, to tell us what the, what the structure is that we're pointing to. Um, here I've said that it's going to be an, a non-folio. I haven't actually figured out whether we can really do a non-folio as a separate type from folio, or whether they're actually just both going to be called struct folio. That's kind of TBD. I mean, all of this is TBD, right? These are my development notes. This is kind of where I'm, I think we're going at this point. Um, I'm looking to get feedback on, oh no, this is, this is not going to work at all. Um, so some of these structs we've actually already split out. Thank you, Buster Mill. Thank you, Vishal. Um, and Vishal's going to give a talk later about um, you know, doing the rest of them. Um, because we can do those bits first, right? We, we don't need to wait for memdes to happen. Indeed, it will be better if we don't wait for memdes to happen before we do these, um, the, 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 these split out. We've got somebody working on the KSM right now. Um, I've got a call scheduled for Friday on, on, on Netpool, what we're going to do about that. Um, so yeah, there's a bunch of work left to do. Um, yeah, uh, the, there's a microphone on that table, I think. So, so I remember when you were doing when you were proposing folios, there was a discussion with me, and at some point I said, maybe at one point we need a type hierarchy. Yeah. I was thinking if some of these could have subtypes, if you get what I mean. Like yeah. you would have like a subtype in your allocated struct right at the beginning. The size depends on what. Then we could have different sizes for different, I don't know, file or anon special things. Yeah. To, just to point point it out that maybe that makes sense. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're definitely in a space where we can do that kind of thing. Um, I have, I'm, I'm, I'm not certain what the right answer is at this point. I agree with you. We're, 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 there's, there's almost certainly a type hierarchy here. I just can't quite see what it is yet. Right. Just saying, like, if we ever run out of these, maybe that makes sense to... It, oh, it, if, yeah, if yeah. we need more than 16. Yeah. 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 And yeah. most certainly we will. If we're already at 10. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, how, how, how many of these have we added in the last five years? I mean, we've had almost all of these things basically forever. Um, I don't know. But uh, actually, this, this is a good. Sorry? I wrote that down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is, this, is, this, this is going to be my 640 kilobytes is enough forever, right? Yeah, yeah. OK, thank you, John. <laughs> Yeah, that, 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 that's true. I was having a good discussion with Alistair earlier about you know, what, what are we going to do with, um, with device memory? Is, is that going to be yet another instance of... Is that going to be five different types of device memory? Five different types of... OK, so there we go. That's what we've added in the last five years, is device memory. Do you want to take a statement back so it's not an 
Absolutely, <laughs> but I but but I but I know it's immutable. I I, I I can say I never said it, but yeah, it's on the blockchain. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, so I mean that, that that's kind of what uh, I'm doing. With, with, and with, I have sorry, I have a question also like uh, about those uh, 15 entries. Um, uh, point, point entries can be, uh, I mean, we, we could have even uh, more entries, right? Because uh, if we reserve some space from uh, VMAP, like the, the top values uh, could be used uh, also to to save some bits. <sighs> I, I don't want to get too far into bit stuffing discussions. I mean, let, let's let, let, let's let's move on to the important stuff. Um, so, for miscellaneous memory type type zero, I've already decided there's going to be a bunch of subtypes, right? So we're not going to have pointers for these things because they're miscellaneous. They don't need a pointer. We just need perhaps a little bit of extra information about like, what is this thing that we have allocated. Um, yeah, Mike. Give Mike the mic. Hey, are you sure about the malloc? That it won't need a pointer? Well, so that's a good question. It doesn't today. There is no way today to get from a page allocated to vmalloc to the vmalloc allocation that contains it. It, it does the search in the tree. Yeah. Now, do we want to fix that? If so, sure. Let, let's 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 fix that. That's a possibility. It's a possibility. If we have a spare bit somewhere, <laughs> we can always create more spare bits to do, like yeah. We've 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 got we've got space available, and and maybe that's the direction we should go in. I'm open to this possibility. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, like. BRD, like we, we can we can now know that this page that's been allocated actually belongs to BRD. And I think that's actually a fairly interesting thing to be able to report through slash proc when people are going through and saying, well, where's all my memory being allocated for? It's like, oh, well, you've got a, you've got a RAM disk that's taking up you know a gigabyte of your memory. You might want to consider unmounting that because you're not using it anymore. Um, I think this is an interesting one. We can now say, oh yeah, this this vmalloc can be mapped to user space, and that vmalloc can't be mapped to user space. And because we have device drivers that call vmalloc, and so they've got a contiguous view of it in in kernel space, and then they map it to user space, so user space also has the same contiguous view of of, of that memory. Uh, but the vast majority of vmallocs we don't want to map to user space, like. Kernel stack, for example, we don't want our kernel stacks being mapped into user space. So it gives us a bit of type, a bit of Safety, if we check, you know, in 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 um, map page to user space, whether the page is allowed to be mapped. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, this, this, so 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 this is, so basically, I've said it's four to ten are used as a subtype. Oh. oh, 9 to 127. That's, that's a range. <clears throat> so that, that takes us up to bit 10. So the first four bits, and then the next seven bits. All right. So, so that yeah. So then that's, that's the use of bit 11. Then bits 12 to 17, we store the order of the page, so we know how large this allocation is. Uh, we can store section node zone. I think we talked about that a bit earlier. Uh, Sorry, how do you encode the pointers <coughs> in the folio? Uh, the question was how do you encode the pointers to the folio? So that's that, that that's not in here. This this is a misc. So this this is specifically for the misc type. So back up at the top. Maybe it's just terminology, but like it seems. Yeah, that's what I had thought. Right. Well, you so, were doing, so, like, so, so everything it, I've been talking about is for the MISC type. And it doesn't have any ancillary data, but then. Right. But so, then, like, some of your bits I thought were a bit peculiar in that context, aren't they? So, perhaps I should click over to what a. Well, if, if we look at what a folio looks like. Uh, I mean, that, that's familiar. Folio is familiar, but. Right. Like, 
So like think, think things like the zone section, etc., are going to be stored in the flags. Whether or not it's mappable to user space is implicit. It's a folio. It's mappable oh, to user I space. I see. So, so y this is memory that's like CPU DRAM memory potentially, but that hasn't been turned into a folio or a net mem or whatever, and you still need to preserve that metadata. Whoever, yeah, who, whoever allocated it doesn't want it to be mappable into user space, or maybe they do, but they, they, they don't need all of this extra tracking information. They, they don't need a pin count. They don't need memcg. They don't need an index. They don't need mapping. So they're, they're not going to allocate. So you're still going to be allocate, You're still going to be able to allocate struct pages, but the but you only get a little bit of information in, in each one. If you want the full fat folio experience, you allocate a folio. Okay, I get it. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, I get it. So maybe, maybe I should talk about that because I think that's that's a kind of an interesting thing to do. In this world, I. Yes. Okay. Yeah, in, in this world, I don't think we need an unsigned log MIMSID data in the folio. It could just be a pointer because uh, Slab has a different type, Percy has a different type, so they can just have a pointer to the C group array directly, and then here we can just have a typed pointer to the MIMSID. I'm so glad you told me that. That, 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 that was what I, I thought we could accomplish, but I didn't know enough to know if that was going to be um, how, how it works. I'm, I'm, I'm so glad that this lets us make that change. Fantastic. My question would be just to understand where you're aiming with that. So let's say that I have PFN to page to folio. What's the process of getting from there to something that is consumable? Yeah, great question. OK, so we will still have struct mem map. Uh, or we'll have mem map, which is an array of struct page. That, that is still going to exist. Okay. And so PFN to page works by the same way it does today. Um, and then PFN to folio works by doing PFN to page and then dereferencing the memdesk pointer to get to a folio. The fun bit is, what does PFN to folio do if the type doesn't says this isn't a folio? And I think the answer is going to be it returns null because you asked for it to get a folio on something that isn't a folio. You've made a mistake. Um, or maybe you haven't made a mistake. Maybe, maybe, maybe you said, hey, give me the folio first. You're like, well, it's not a folio. Um, so I, I do think we're going to have something like a PFN to memdesk, which just returns you the memdesk. Or, or may, may, maybe we open code this, because there aren't going to be a lot of places that need to do that. But there are some. We, we do have a PFN to online page, which means that this is something that actually it has a backing storage for yeah. its track page which in this world would mean that uh, you get a memdesk that would tell you that this is a offline type and that means that you're out of there yeah okay that yeah. that makes sense so my question is uh, you only have those what was that new numa id and uh, these bits only for the misc so misc type or oh, that bits 12 to 17 so 12 to 17 for the order of the page i guess this should have been a new line uh the high bits are used for store so basically the same information that's stored in pay in folio arrow flags is instead stored directly in the memdesk for misc pages yes so if i allocate uh, or, or, I, or i turn this body memdesk that has these bits to, for example, struct slab. It has to copy over these bits to the struct slab because there are no more space for them here, right? And then right. So you have to copy them back on freeing. My, OK, OK. So, so let's, Math, go, let's go Math, to the folio allocator. Okay. Matthew, um, could I maybe suggest that Miss is perhaps a confusing name? Yes, OK. And it seems to me that it's actually describing memory that has not that is owned by some kind of allocator, maybe the, the page allocator or something, right? Because that's kind of what you're saying. It's memory that's owned by the page allocator that can be returned back from the page allocator. Or perhaps more specifically, maybe it would be nice to have a type for that. Ah, so yes, there is a type. There is, there is a buddy type. Yeah, then maybe it's a little clearer because you kind of like I'm looking at order. Like, why do I need order for unallocated memory? But maybe I, that's data that's used by the allocator. It, so 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 so. So if a device driver like calls alloc page, it gets misc memory. If you just call alloc page, you, 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 get, you get a memdesk of zero. 
the whole thing is just zero. I, that makes sense. Yep. Okay. Okay. I, I see where you're coming from. So it, and then before it gets allocated by a device driver, it's like struck buddy and it's another type. Yeah. So MISC is all, allocated memory that's owned by something, but we don't know what that something is. Okay. Okay. It's weird, but okay. Okay. So back to answer Vlastimil's question. Um, this is what I currently have for how a uh, folio alloc will work. And something very, very similar would happen for slab alloc. Um, in particular, we look up the flags for this PFM. Or maybe that's not how we do it. Maybe, maybe, maybe we grab it out of the buddy mem desk. Uh, the, 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 there's a bunch of ways we could do this, and, and it's kind of fungible at this point. But yeah, we, we, we would fill it in for slab the same way that we do for folio. So, uh, so, so question, but, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so the KMLO large or, or the existing today's uh, page alloc with the GFP account. Uh, do you, do you expect both of them kind of same or so normal page alloc of today with the GFP account, which is not the slab, but the. That's a really good point. I hadn't I hadn't thought about uh, the the memcg aspects of it. May, may, maybe we can't use misc memory for kmalloc large. I thought I thought we were going to be able to, but uh, perhaps I'm just wrong there, and uh, we'll, we'll need to allocate memory for for such a thing. It probably doesn't need to be quite as large as struct slab, but uh, we, we we will probably need something extra to track it. So maybe that's just going to be a 16 or 32 byte allocation. Michael. Yeah, if you can go, go, go back to the track page allocation, because now you have broken my brain again. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you have just freshly allocated a page that is something that is sitting randomly in the, uh, in the memory. What's the page to PFN or how does that know what the PNF, uh, PFN is? How, oh, how does page to PFN work? Yeah because struct page is at an offset in, it, it, it it's go not, back to the mem you, you just allocated it. You've just allocated a new page, which is yes. something sitting somewhere. Yeah. So how do you know uh, that it's an offset to a mem map? Well, I well think you, you know it's offset in mem map because you just subtract, it, yeah, it's, it's no. got an address, right? It's, it's not really allocating, it's just returning. Yeah, but I, that answer makes sense, but I think what you're missing here is like a transition diagram because yeah. the, the mem desks are created when the memory is hot plugged into the system, right? No. No, uh, sorry. The mem map is created. Yeah, the mem map is created, which has yes. those eight, the, the, the U64s exist yes. in memory when the memory is hot plugged in. So like there is a state diagram when as soon as you hot plug the memory, it has a, a value in that U64. Then it goes to, a, I don't know, to the buddy allocator. So it gets a different value. Yes. And then, then does it go from, does alloc page desk go from buddy allocator to folio? Is that what's happening? It, 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 it overwrites the contents of uh, mem desk in each page which it, is allocated. Yeah, I understand that. But I'm saying it would be very helpful to have a diagram showing that all the legal transitions, like I go from this to this, and then I go back to this, and then to this, because I think that's what Mike. Michael is trying to ask, right? Yeah, like, yeah, because that, that's what bro broke my brain. Because then <laughs> it means that alloc page desk doesn't really allocate anything. It just returns something that has been allocated. You just get a pointer to what has been allocated. Yeah, so the the the, the folio well, pointer... Well, it allocated it from somewhere, right? The mem desk is assigned to some other purpose, like a buddy allocator, perhaps, and you got it from the buddy allocator, and now it's yours. Yes. But it hasn't changed its location. It hasn't changed no. its location. Well, the allocator selected the location. That's why it's in allocator <laughs> right the, the wording is uh, yeah yeah so the, the, the pages still exist just like today they they, they, they always exist it's just small. they're just much much smaller yeah they are one-eighth the size they used to be <laughs> question you mentioned that the page that the mem desk was embedded in the struct body or did I misread that? Uh, the other way around. The, 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 
Oh, yeah, struct, struct body is, actually, struct body is only eight bytes in size, and that's on the third tab that I will get to at some point during this talk, I hope. <laughs> okay, I'll wait, I'll wait. <clears throat> but all of these tabs already existed, and I've, I've posted each of them to the mailing list, so it's on you for not reading it. All right. Um, yeah, so are, 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 are we, uh, Vlastimil, are, are you now comfortable with how this works? Okay, good. Um, right. What should I talk about next? Um, buddy. Sorry? Buddy? buddy? Okay, let's, let's go on and talk about Buddy Allocator. Thank you, Yoshi. <laughs> All right, so uh, you can see this one's been around for a while. Um, so, and th this, this one might actually be controversial because this is going to involve changing the Buddy Allocator, which I know very little about, as you're about to find out. Um, Actually, so, some of this is now stale because we no longer store migrate type. I think Johannes deleted that like a month ago and I haven't got around to updating this yet. Um, so, what, what does struct buddy look like? Um, so, the, there's, uh, did I write this down? Oh yeah. So the operations we need to do, we need to find the previous and next pages on the list. We need to be able to remove the first page from the list when we allocate. We need to add a page to the list when we, when it's current, the person who has it allocated frees it. And then we need to be able to remove a page from anywhere on the list because we're combining it with its buddy and moving it to the next level up the list. So if we're going to do those three operations, I believe we need to have next and prev. Right, we need to be able to remove from the middle. So we need to know what its next one and what its previous one is. Otherwise, we're scanning the entire list in order to find out what its next and previous is, and that doesn't sound like a high performance solution to me. Um, how, we kind of skipped over the part where we started with the mem desk and we we got to we got over to our struct buddy. Uh, Okay, so 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 I'm so so I'm uh, first I'm talking about a high. This is so I'm giving you a high level overview of like what do we need, and then we can get down to, into how we bit pack all of this. Okay, I, I was still hung up on we we subtracted like a zillion bits from that mem desk, and then I wasn't sure there was enough left for a pointer. Well, there isn't, but like <laughs> so, so 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 if we were separately allocating it rather than embedding it in instruct mem desk this this is how we might do it and then i'm going to show how we can pack all the bits together and get it down and squeeze it all into a single mem desk because i don't i really don't want us to be allocating allocating memory in order to free memory is not the best solution in the world so let's try and avoid that but so now, Matthew, I mean, don't you need the like the zone and all that other information that you were packing into the the miss as well? Let me get back to you on that. Okay. <laughs> um, so, I mean, so, 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 so this is one possible future, right? That struct page, instead of being a U64, contains an unsigned long mem desk, which, you know, we use the rest of the time, and a struct buddy, and here's the struct buddy that it contains, right? Th th this is a possible future. And this is a simple one to understand, right? I mean, we can all look at this and say, oh yeah, I understand what that, how that would work, right? Okay, I'm seeing some half heart. Okay, oh, oh, I've got a thumbs up. Okay, oh, oh John, yes, okay. I, I suspect the confusion is we kept saying, oh, it's U64, it's U64, <laughs> and now, now it's like two U64s. Right. Right, so, so option one is two U64s. This is a possible solution. It only gets us to you know, a 16-byte struct page, but that's a lot better than a 64-byte struct page. So you know, it's, it's, it's a step in the right direction. All right. Oh, look, this gives us a 16-byte struct page. I said that. All right, option two. Same data structure, but store the PFN instead of the pointer to the struct page. Um, that supports a terabyte of memory on 32-bit. That sounds like enough to me. Um, on 64-bit, we can support up to 4,096 exabytes. I, I forgot what the thing is above exabyte. It's, yeah. I don't care. <laughs> 
So we, option three is, the com is a compressed version of option two. Um, if we're willing to limit ourselves to supporting two terabytes of memory, I'll, drop, I'll, I'll spoil the surprise. My employer sells a machine with three terabytes of memory, so I'm not actually advocating for this. Um, we can squeeze it all down into a single 64-bit, and we're back to use, a U64. So, um, oh yeah, and, and really we can't shrink memdes to four bits on 32-bit because that's, <laughs> that's a 32-megabyte system and uh, yeah, that's, I mean, maybe config tiny or something, but really that's, that's not useful. So now we come to option four, which is rather than, say, rather than using absolute PFN, use a PFN relative to the base of the zone. So if you go look in the buddy allocator today, everything in the buddy allocator looks, is, 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 relative, is, is done to other things within the zone. You, you can't combine two pages from different zones, or rather a, a, a single page, single giant page can't cross zones. So we could do one zone per two terabytes of memory which is already quite a lot of memory to, to put in a single zone. When, when you consider the things like the LRU lock are done per zone, maybe we actually even think that two terabytes of memory in a single zone is a bad idea. And maybe we should support more zones on ridiculously sized machines. I mean, we've all seen LRU lock scaling problems. So does anyone have a problem with increasing the number of zones in order to decrease the contention on the LRU lock? David? <laughs> Are not these large machines multiple NUMA nodes anyway? Or? Yeah, that's a good point. So that already has different zones. That's actually a really good point. I hadn't thought of that. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I like your option four. <laughs> um, so option, f yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I, I repeat it. Uh, so uh, let's say that we choose one of those options. Uh, is that impossible to move to another option as an incremental change? Uh, the question is, if we choose one of these options, is it impossible to move to any of the other options as an incremental change? No, no, this is, this is all totally internal. The let's only th simple. Let's, um, let's start simple, says Michael. And actually, I agree. And so I haven't done a slide on that because, uh, or, uh, a wiki page, and, 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 and now I will. Um, I haven't talked about how I'm going to stage the patches to get us to this. So my goal for this year is to get rid of page mapping and page index. Uh, and by get rid of, I mean rename to double underscore folio underscore mapping, just to make sure that there's no actual users of it and that new users don't come along and start using it. Um, and I'm going to keep doing that with other members of struct page. Um, so we're going to split the various users of struct page out of struct page. So, you know, the, the, the net mem and, and the uh, ZS malloc and, and so on and so on. Like all of those are going to get split out. And then we will, um, and, and so I'm not going to shrink struct page initially, but I am going to rename all the things in it. And once we've got struct page down to you know, a reasonable size, may, maybe half its current size, um, I'm, 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 I'm going to put out a patch set which, which pulls the trigger, which shrinks it down to 32 bytes or 16 bytes, whatever we can fit, and separately allocates the, the various mem desks. And we can do all that today because, without changing too much code because basically everything calls compound head in order to get to it. And as long as we've got somewhere where we can stash the pointer to the memdesk, it's all going to just work. Except for some couple of things, it, right? Uh, you will increase the memory section size. Will I? Uh, because uh, it just works that way that two meg megabytes of, uh, of uh, mem map just maps 128 megabytes of uh, address space, uh, I mean, oh. physical address space. So if you shrink the struct page size, you just increase the, uh, or you just sacrifice the performance and don't 
do large mappings for uh, uh, VMAP at least. Okay, thank you for that. I didn't know that. That's, that's a really good one. Thank you. Um, yeah, and and when we do that, we can start to see like where are our performance regressions? Because right now, as far as I know, maybe doing this separately allocated uh, memdesk is going to cost us a whole bunch of performance. I don't know. I haven't done it. Like we've we've we've, we've got to try it out and find out. Like is 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 this going to suck really hard? Or is it going to actually give us the performance that we think it's going to? Um, so, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm keen to get us to a point where we can start to test this and, and make sure that it's not going to absolutely kill us. Uh, yes, I've gone over time, haven't I? Thank you, Michael. Um, so, yeah, I think I've covered basically everything I wanted to. Thank you all for paying attention. And, and next time, read my emails and reply to them. Thank you. <laughs>